Hath not broken on an open car. Okay, yesterday we spoke about wall art. We spoke about using calendars to create high impact and low cost wall art. Okay, another source that we can get prints from for our walls to create wall art is uh, postcards. Postcards are great for creating wall art. Now, because the postcards are usually pretty small, what we want to do is to make sure that we're grouping them. We're displaying them in such a manner that will create impact. We just don't want to put one little postcard on the wall. It's not going to create the impact that we need to have great wall art. So there are three ways that I'm going to suggest that we can display our postcards. The first way is to get a big frame, a frame such as this one, a size frame that we can actually take seven to ten postcards, or it doesn't even have to be that big, but we want to get a frame that we can at least, say, place seven postcards in so that we can have something substantial on the wall. So you arrange them in the frame how you want them to appear when you place them on the wall, and then you have yourself a great grouping of postcards. What you want to do, though, is to make sure that your postcards relate to each other, whether by color or the elements that are in the on the postcards themselves. Make sure that they have some connecting elements. So that's the first way. Another way, or the second way, in which how we can mount our postcards is to use smaller frames. Now you can get a bunch of smaller frames, five or seven smaller frames, put the postcards in the individual frame, and then actually mount them on your wall in a grouping that is pleasing to the eyes when you look at them. Now, the same thing. When you do that, make sure they have some connecting elements. The frames don't have to be the same, but make sure that they connect in some way, both the frames and the postcards, whether by the color of the frame, the design of the frame, the color in the postcards, the elements that are on the postcards. Make sure that they relate somehow, because we want to have low-cost wall art, but we also want to have something that's high impact and something that is pleasing to the eye, something that actually makes your room feel put together, polished. Okay? The third way in which we can display our postcards is to use a piece of wood, a finished wood. This is actually the front of a drawer that I picked up from a big box store. They were selling out for like 99 cents. And what I did was to get my postcards lay them out how I wanted them to appear when they are hung on the wall and just use regular scrap glue just to put uh, glue them onto the wall. Okay, now to enhance the look a little, I used a blue permanent marker and just went around the lip here on the board just to create an element of interest and uh, help with the cohesion of the piece. Okay, so those are three ways you can display your postcard. On a simple piece of finished wood in smaller frames as a grouping and by using a bigger frame to actually mount or display your postcard. Okay, so have fun putting your postcards together to create your own wall art. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Until next time, you take care.